Peter Franklin, it's the Gabby Cabby in New York City and on the line right now. Good morning, Peter. Good morning. Have you survived the hurricane coverage? Yeah, well, I'm glad you said that because that's exactly what I was just about to say. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. Also, yeah. had, did you notice that on CNN, the women presenters kept wearing shorter and shorter skirts? Yeah. I wonder if they're trying to compete with Fox News there, which has yeah, always been I mean, known I mean, for the most like beautiful an, women. an unbelievable continuing fashion show. Yeah. So I guess... Well, depending, I don't think I've ever seen your legs, but you may have no future in broadcasting yeah. unless you get some good legs, kiddo. Yeah, well, you wouldn't want to see these legs. But anyway, New York City is nice and dry, and uh, de Blasio is grandstanding by sending some New York City cops down there and New York City firemen, maybe like 15 of each or something, yeah. rather they'll just party in a hotel or something, but it's kind of <laughs> silly. It's almost as silly as Cuomo sending us state troopers. Yeah. Uh, you state troopers. Uh, tell me, uh, this is Fashion Week, right, in New York? Is it this yes, week? Yes, indeed. Everything is fashionable, fashionable week, which is kind of an interesting thing because you got that as the upper, and then... And of course, the 9-11 anniversary, which is the downer. See, i got to explain something to your nice listeners. We've got two people, or two people, two segments of people in New York City. One of those who have some direct contact with 9-11. They lost a father, a mother, a brother, or what have you. Yeah. So they live with this thing day after day after day for the rest of their lives. Then you got the great percentage of the uh, population who, frankly, at this point, either wasn't there or doesn't give a hoot. Right, right. So each year, it almost becomes, I think, a little bit more of an embarrassment because something which was such an unbelievable event is getting diminished by this annual, you know, role play or something. Yeah. I don't know what you exactly call well, it. Well, I, I... But we had all the ceremonies and yeah. what have you. And I, and I do have to say that I think we are in a position where there is a taking advantage of... There's an opportunistic, and this I think is what you're saying. It's 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 an opportunistic approach for politicians and for people who want. I I, I it does not do any. It, I, it's not do. It's not it's not respectful. I don't think. No, it isn't anymore. And as a matter of yeah. fact, I've described it often as a huge food court. And people say, well, oh, oh, that's yeah. terrible, Peter. How can you say that? Well, the fact of the matter is, if you go into that area, they're selling souvenirs. There's yeah. all kinds of food carts. It's almost like a festive, you know, thing, 364 yeah. days yeah. of the year. And then, of course, on 9-11, it suddenly becomes very, you know, very right. straightforward and what have you. Well, here we did the uh, the big stair climb they did at the end of the week last week. which And they're raising money for our good cause. And it's uh, representing firefighters who are climbing those stairs, in some cases, uh, to their own peril, but uh, I think that yeah, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Good. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not picking on the firemen or the cops or even the ones that are going. No, it's the app. To, uh, people taking advantage of it. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's like yeah. a. It's a corny kind of a thing, almost, and they shouldn't really. All right, one more here. A penalty for littering on the subway system is going to jump from fifty to a hundred dollars. Why is that bad? Yeah, that's not even going to discourage people. Yeah, uh, people do that, and it's unfortunate. And the reason for that is, according to the fire department, according to the subway system, most of the delays, and then we're talking like thirty thousand a year or something, yeah. are because people throw crap on the tracks and it ignites from the electricity and what have you, and the next thing you know, you got a fire. But going from 50 to 100 is going to be meaningless, because at 50 it was meaningless, at 100 it's going to be meaningless. I think, I mean, I know this is going to sound a little far out, but if you caught, uh, you know, littering on the subway tracks, yeah, yeah. we should have a guillotine in Times Square. <laughs> now that would, yeah, that would destroy how many, how many? Look, wouldn't you agree we wouldn't have to do more than one or two? You're right. All it would take is a couple, and then everybody like, I'm not littering nothing. Right. I'm with you. Uh, best tour in New York City. Uh, trust me. Uh, visit New York. Uh, reach out to Peter at Gabby.com, and he will take you to places you had no idea even existed in New York. It's the best tour in the city. Peter, Thank as you. always, we'll talk again next week. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.